Hello and welcome to another Mac Apper video review. I'm Michael Mastretta and I want to talk to you about a really great productivity application that I use all the time called Text Expander. As you can see, Text Expander is inside system preferences and let's take a look at this. This Text Expander is a very simple interface and the idea behind Text Expander is that you are using your Mac all day and there are so many things that you type over and over and over again. Wouldn't it be great if there was a little snippet that you can type that as soon as you type that text expander knows that you want a whole phrase or, or a whole piece of text and it will automatically grow that and expand that for you. And that's what I'm using all the time. So for example, my name, I'm typing my name over and over whether I want to do a Google search on it or whatever. So my, I write my name here and then I put an abbreviation which I want text expander to know that when I type that anywhere in Mac OS 10, so iChat, um, Mail, Safari, wherever, it's going to automatically expand that to my full name. So here I have a blank document here. Let's just type MM and see Text Expander goes to work and automatically expands it. So I could be typing any document anywhere and just type MM and it will automatically be expanded. I also use this for my website. So this I have my whole URL here and I want to shorten that to MM.com which is a lot shorter. So I could be typing mm.com and as soon as I type the M, it will automatically fill it in with my website and I can continue typing so I can type slash blog or whatever else. Um, really, really handy thing. Another way to use this is I have a Wii, <laughs> um, Nintendo Wii. And this is my Wii number and it's, of course it's hard to remember because it's like 16 numbers. But what I have, have set is I can just be typing Wii and then the number symbol and it will automatically fill in my Wii number wherever I am on my Mac. Um, other uses are it can actually format pictures and text. So let's say you have a signature with a picture in it. You can actually just type S-I-G-G or whatever you want the snippet to be and it would fill in your whole signature with all the text. Another useful uh, thing with this is addresses, of course. So I have mine set to AADD. Of course, I don't want you to know my address, so I don't have the address filled in. But it, it's a really, really useful application and, and very simple to use. So another thing you can do with this is you can do more complex things like this, which you can't really tell what this is right now, but if it's time with two Ts. So if we go into our text document and type time with two Ts, it's going to automatically expand it to the time it is right now. Um, same thing with date. If we type date with two T's, I mean two D's, it will automatically expand. But the real key to Text Expander is that you want to create a snippet that you wouldn't usually type by yourself. So, like, just normally, you would only type this if you want it to be expanded. So, for example, my Tumblr. Tumblr is spelled T-U-M-B-L-R. But if I want my URL for my Tumblr to come up, I type Tumblr with two T's. No, I spelled that wrong. <laughs> Tumblr with two T's, and it will automatically expand to my Tumblr address. Really, really cool. Um, another, another really cool use of this is for HTML. So let's just go here and open up uh, the Mac app or homepage. And I'm really just going to copy this, and I have this in my clipboard. Now what I'm going to do is, let's say I'm making an HTML document and I want to embed links. This is a very advanced use of it. I can type H-A-R-E-F. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to add an extra F on it and watch what Text Expander does. It's going to create a link tag and it's going to paste my clipboard right after the equal sign, right where it's supposed to be. And it will place my cursor right where it's supposed to be. And I could just go and type Mac Apper. And there is my whole link. And I can go through this really fast. And this saves me a whole bunch of time when I'm do working in HTML. And this is really simple to make if we just come over here and look. So let's just make this from scratch. Um, I want it to say A H R E F. This is what I want it to become equals close bracket, then open bracket slash A. And this is just a standard link form. But to get it more fancy, let's say you want it to automatically paste the clipboard. You just click where you want the clipboard pasted, come down here and say clipboard. And it's going to say, okay, I'm going to put the clipboard in there. And, we're, and then you can add other things. So I'm going to put my cursor here. Click here and say this is where I want the cursor to be positioned. So let's go through the, and then this is my abbreviation. So A R A H R E F F. So now I'm going to go here, type A H R E F F, 
and it's going to automatically paste my clipboard and put my cursor right in there. It's a really, really handy use of this. Now, Text Expander also comes with a bunch of different um, groups of snippets. So there's an HTML code snippet, an autocorrect, and a dictionary. So I have all my groups down here. So autocorrect, for example, what it will do is let's say I type um, one of my most annoying things is when someone types the, but they type it wrong and they type T-E-H. Well, if I type T-E-H, Text Expander knows that that's most likely an error and it will automatically correct that for me. And as you can see from here, this is just something I downloaded right off the Text Expander website. There are a whole bunch of different autocorrected thing, things that most people spell wrong. So, for example, friend, where the E is before the I, that will autocorrect. Good, if you type go do, so go do, it will correct it to good. And there's a whole bunch in here. Uh, you could just download it from the Text Expander website. But even more useful is there's an HTML code snippet file. And this will allow you to, if you're an HTML coder, this will allow you to have all your tags and snippets really easily accessible and you really save a lot of time because you don't have to type up all the code. So I downloaded this and let's just add this into Text Expander right now. All you do is you click New Group from File and we'll just go to my desktop where there's my HTML.TextExpander file and we're just going to open this. And what Text Expander does is it creates a new group in my snippets pane called HTML. Let's just open this and we could see all there's a whole bunch of different types here. And what Text Expander does is if you type anything, so comma image or comma div or comma br, that's going to put in the tags for you. Let's go over to our demo over here and let's type, for example, a really common thing. Let's say you want to insert an image. I just type comma img and look at this time um, Text Expander. It expands, it, it totally gives you the whole tags and it puts your cursor right where you can put your, um, where the image is located, let's say logo.png. Uh, you could put a name in here, so um, I don't know, whatever name you want, and you're done. You really don't have to type all this over and over again. There's even more advanced ones, so let's say you want to do just comma A, that's going to create a link tag for you. Let's say you're doing a div, you could do comma div, and it will put your cursor right where it's supposed to be. So really, really handy and when you're coding it makes it a lot easier. Let's say you're starting an HTML document and you want to set a doc type. You could just put comma doc type. No, I spelled that wrong again. <laughs> you have to be able to spell. But comma doc type and it will actually put your whole doc type in there so you don't have to type it up or go find it from one of the TextMate um, windows. Really, really simple and great application. Of course, it gets even more advanced. You can have it so that images come up, like I said. You can have it so that it will only activate and expand when there's a comp, like when you hold down the option key. There's a whole bunch of stuff in the preferences. Text Expander is really, really worth the cost of it. And it, it totally makes your whole Mac experience a lot easier because just all these snippets, you get so used to just typing them and it saves a whole bunch of time. The only downside with Text Expander that I know of is that it spoils you. So when I'm on someone else's Mac, I type MM and my name doesn't come up and I'm like, what's wrong? So so if you're transferring Macs a lot, it might not be great. But if you're if you want to really increase your pro productivity on your Mac, I definitely recommend Text Expander to anyone.